Hello and welcome into my messy little shop. My name's Scott and today we're going to be making this Merry Christmas sign on the scroll saw. Welcome back. So we're going to be cutting out this Merry Christmas. It's a Steve Good pattern. I'll leave a link to his website in the description. Steve Good's been making patterns and doing scroll saw stuff for a long time. He is the gold standard so definitely check it out. Um, so we have this piece of curly maple here. Um, I scaled the pattern to fit that. Um, in order to do that, I downloaded the PDF, opened it in Inkscape, and then resized it. Um, I did cut one out on the laser engraver, which is a little bit bigger. This is the full-size pattern. It's a great pattern. The only thing that we're going to have to be careful with is the deer itself. So if you look here, we have um, the antlers are very long, and they're only connected by this little piece here and this leg here is also connected by the little piece um, as far as the antler goes the points we're going to cut out first so we're going to have the wood back here supporting it because we're going to be pushing against the grain so we'll cut these out and then one swooping cut here that'll be fine um, the leg itself is also connected by this one little point here but it's in the pattern it's inside the piece so it's not going to be easily uh, smushed so I think that's fine if you wanted to add some extra stability you could extend the leg like that and uh, then there'll be two points it'll be stronger but it also uh, does not look as nice so we are going to cut it as it is now if you were really concerned you could take the deer move it over so it's touching the letter next to it and that would also give you another point of contact. So if you're just starting out on the scroll saw um, this pattern here is not too bad. Um, there is like 15 holes which is not a whole lot. It's not going to take a whole lot of time to cut that out. Um, if you've never cut out a shelf sitter or something that's going to just I'm going to set that on my mantle start out with a board with a square bottom and then glue the pattern to the bottom so you already have a flat spot to set it I know that's obvious but I have to say it if you try to cut that straight line it's gonna be crooked and wonky there's no way around it I have the pattern affixed to uh, the wood so I put down a layer of blue painters tape put some spray adhesive on the back of this let it sit for a couple seconds and then just pressed it on so when we're done it's just like a sticker you could peel it off um, you can also just spray adhesive directly to the wood and then clean it up with mineral spirits um, I do spend a lot of time on the scroll saw with patterns and I don't want to become sensitive to mineral spirits so I don't use that um, I did drill the holes on the drill press I just found uh, the biggest drill bit <laughs> which fit in there. So we're going to start out in the center and work our way out. We're going to do all our internal cuts first. Um, I'm not going to force you to watch this in real time, so I'm going to stop the video here and then we'll do a high speed uh, kind of montage thing.
All right, let's see how we did. This took uh, just a little over 14 minutes to cut out, which I don't think was too bad at all. So because we used the blue painter's tape... Just start peeling that off. All right, so we peeled the tape up. That's what we have. I'm gonna sand it real quick. So I sanded it. I put on two coats of glaze. I believe this is Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze. Um, it is very shiny. Um, I think this thing is awesome. So I'll try putting up a couple pictures uh, taken from the good camera. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And as always, this is a new channel, so please subscribe and follow. I would really appreciate it. Happy Holidays!